Hello everyone, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. And our show is From Milwaukee to Nashville, but we should really just call it From Milwaukee. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. So those of you wondering why we're not covering the Preds, the Preds are on a West Coast swing. As for the time difference, it makes it very difficult for people like me who have children who have to be up in the morning. So um, it makes it very difficult. And um, so we, we do the best we can. All righty. So today the Admirals took on the Chicago Wolves. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Chicago out shoots Milwaukee 10 to 7. In the second period, Chicago out shoots Milwaukee 11 to 9. In the third period, Milwaukee out shoots Chicago 10 to 6. And in total, Chicago out shoots Milwaukee 27 to 26. On the power play, Milwaukee goes 0 for 2 at 10 minutes, 5 infractions, while Chicago goes 0 for 5 with 4 minutes, 2 infractions. Scoring in the first at the 57 second mark, meaning 57 seconds into the game, Adam Willsby scores his fifth with an assist from Phil Tomasino, his second, and Yusa Parson in his seventh. Then in the third, because there was nothing in the second. Um, Zachary LaRue scores his 13th with an assist for Breed Schaefer, his 10th, and Jordan Gross, his 15th. That was at the 2-10 mark. But LaRue wasn't done yet. At the 18-17 mark, LaRue scores his 14th with an assist from Cal O'Reilly, his 15th. And uh, welcome back to the game of hockey. I know you got injured in your first game, but Cody Hodgson scores on a non-empty net after scoring the empty net. Way to put your foot down on your throat and on their throat and press down. Mm -hmm. Didn't need that extra goal, but I'll take it. <coughs> It was assisted by Yusuf Parson and his eighth, and our captain, Kevin Graval. In net for the Wolves was Adam Shield, stopping 22 of 25. And your three stars of the game. Zachary Luru, two goals. Adam Willsby, one goal. First star, Yaroslav Skarov. Ah, he just closed the net and said it's closed for business from the jump. He gets the shutout. He has now won 14 straight. Neither one of the Admirals goalies have lost in their last 13 games. And Yarrow goes and wins 14. I wonder if Troy's going to start on Saturday just to <laughs> try and keep it tied. Uh. But Jaro's definitely playing some of the best hockey I've seen him play and some of the best goaltending I've seen him play in a long time. Very sharp, very crisp, very on point. Makes very few mistakes. And sometimes squeakers get by, but that happens to everybody. But the Admirals win 18 straight. We now sit with only the Norfolk Admirals of 2011 with they won 28 straight. And we're at 18. So it's only 10 games between us and them. And uh, with that win, we use up our game in hand and go, um, well, 
if we keep getting points the way we're going, um, we're going to have a 20 point lead on our whole division as it is 71 and the closest team is Grand Rapids with 54. It's not even close. No other team in their division has been as dominant as us other than Hershey. Hershey's lost nine games. We've lost ten. That just tells you a lot about, like, that is a prime matchup for the Calder Cup. Us versus Hershey. Round two. And this time we want to win it. <laughs> um, But that is it. Um, I have, uh, so tonight the, uh, Preds will be taking on the, uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Um, we will probably have a graphic up at some point for that. Uh, most likely it'll come from me. <laughs> they play the Kings tonight. Oh, it's the Kings? Yeah. All right. I thought it was, uh, it was Vegas. On Saturday, <sighs> I can't remember their schedule anymore. Oh. Uh, it is the Kings. Ah, oh, and then we play San Jose. Okay. I get it now. All righty. So, yeah, still on that West Coast swing. That game starts at 10. Yeek. Yeah. It's just hard for me to cover with little ones. So, I apologize to our all our Preds fans. We will be back as soon as they're in the Central or Eastern time zone. <laughs> Even Mountain Time will do. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Colorado. <laughs> I think that's after San Jose, if I remember correctly. But we thank you all for watching. Um, have a... Oh, wonderful day. Uh, happy Friday to everybody as we will not, we do not have a show tomorrow. And enjoy your weekend if you don't see us. Well, enjoy the start of your weekend. You'll see us Saturday night.